Hi, this is Scott Parrott from SP Graphic, and I'm here to talk a little bit about colors, how to pick them, and how to help your clients pick the right colors, or at least how, how to have your clients pick colors and tell you what colors they want. I have a, a small site I designed a header graphic for, and some book covers, and basically this is a, a WordPress theme. My client has a problem with the color of the uh, submit button it not looking very good on the um, on this bluish gray um, background keep in mind colors look different on different monitors so it's really hard to tell exactly what everybody's gonna see what I want to do is get my show my client and uh, have my client not feel like they're har harassing me by having me constantly change something so I want to try to help them find a color that's going to make what they want perfect. To do this we're going to use a program a little application called color pick and as you can see what happens is as I move my mouse it uh, grabs whatever area is under the mouse and it gives the uh, hex numbers in a, a variety of different formats and in this case I want this background color so I'm going to leave my mouse there and I'm on a Windows machine so I hit control G and it grabs it and I find out that it's F2, F5, F7 and what I want to do is copy that. This is a, a very handy tool and uh, I use it a lot when I'm uh, trying to match things or um, just trying to get colors to to look good and uh, for instance you might go to uh, see a site someplace and say wow that site looks awesome and uh, you try to bring back those colors and you don't know exactly what they are this will help you pick those colors let me show you how to get it and you can get it for free from this site and I'm going to give you the link it's right here. Go ahead and stop your video and copy that down if you want. But I'm going to move forward. The site we're going to go to is a uh, well, it's it's like a a color wheel. But in, in this case, what it is is it's a, a sample website with different colors. Let me refresh this. basically what you can do is well first of all as most of you know most websites or blogs have a header and navigation area with uh, um, links or, or buttons and um, a content area and a footer and then sometimes you'll have a table or something inside so what you can do with this is you can input that color uh, that that we grabbed from the site before you know, if I click show, what happens is it changes everything basically except the, this background color. You need to go to the background color right here and click on that. This is our color and it, it changes everything. It's very hard to see. It's probably going to be really hard to see on your monitor, but I wanted to use this example specifically because I have a, a client I would like to to see how this works. So now you have this grayish blue color and we have those buttons across here. Those It says the link buttons right here are color number five. So if we go to color number five, click on color number five, that means it's highlighted. Now we can go through and um, they can look at the colors just by picking any of these swatches. Too light, not dark enough, too much yellow, maybe this is the perfect one, maybe this is, I don't know, whatever it is. What happens is we come back here to color number five and we have the number. All the customer has to, or client has to do is send you back that number and uh, now I can go back into Adobe Photoshop, make my buttons, give them exactly what they wanted. Pretty cool, huh? We can carry this out a few steps further if we look at we want to see what this link is going to look like go up here to link click it 
and now you can see what different colors would look like red green maybe black is just the way to go again it just gives you an idea of what things will look like next to each other and if you're doing a whole site you can easily take now you can take your colors and let's go up here you can see this is uh, color number one for the header so if we go to color number one and we say alright let's look at a uh, what kind of color do we want maybe we want this color and let's go for the nav bar over here this is color number two let's say let's make it a darker gray I'll go back up to this gray area oops okay. what we want to do all we have to do is hit the undo bar and the color comes back but we want color number five link buttons are color number five uh, text number two on color number two so we need to go to color number two and we are going to let's make this sidebar and we'll go back up here and make it a gray And then if we go down to the footer, it says text number four, color number four. So if we go down to color number four, we can go back and... Anyway, that gives you an idea how you can, how you can give people an idea of what colors look like together. It's not a, a perfect match. However, uh, it, it can eliminate and save some time for both... Uh, you and your client and it can also give you a good looking site for instance if the client were to say well boy uh, are we on color number four and what color? I want to I want the header to be like um, white green if they have these tools they can play with it and they can pick all the colors and all the color combinations and all you need to do is uh, the mechanics and put things together and, and and maybe tweak it what I have found is that most designs that I do people like however every now and then you come up you come across a client that has specific tastes and wants things to be exact and, and maybe you're not meeting their needs so this will help you uh, get over the hump so to say so that's it for this and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time